It's astonishing to think that the technology and application of X-rays invented almost 130 years ago have barely changed. That is, until an Adelaide tech company with a big American presence rethought the X-ray, which could change the way hospitals use the machines, make airport scanning a less cumbersome procedure and even potentially make quicker identification of improvised explosive devices in war zones, as Edward Boyd discovered. X-ray was invented in 1895 by Wilhelm Conrad Rontgen, the German mechanical engineer and physicist. He was awarded the inaugural Nobel Prize for Physics in 1901. His discovery revolutionised healthcare. X-ray machines today have become faster and more efficient, but the overarching technology has barely changed from Rontgen's invention. Until now. Due to the ambition of an ASX-listed company, Micro X. Every X-ray in the world is basically the same. It's a hot, heavy, complex tube that uses a filament that warms up, takes time to warm up, is prone to break. Um, and people have been trying to make it smaller, simpler for a long time. We've done that with our next technology. What it does is it uses carbon nanotubes to make a very precise, very simple, very small X-ray tube. Brian Gonzalez leads the American arm of MicroX. He's the chief scientist and has been working, trying to improve Rontgen's original X-ray technology for about 20 years. We've really taken off in the last five years bringing this together. And di between establishing the tube factory, turning it into something real, selling it, getting it established, and then building on the, from the first technology into the multiple versions of the technology, into our high voltage generators, growing out what we can do. So it's been a long journey, but we're quite excited about where we are now. Here's an old school X-ray unit. It's pretty heavy, it weighs about 20 kilos. But here's one of the options at Micro X, and it's just so small and lightweight. The secret inside is this tiny carbon nanotube. Unlike a classic X-ray, which is powered by a heated filament, the carbon nanotubes are powered by an electric voltage. These small units are then used to build the Micro X product range. There's the Rover, an ultra-lightweight mobile X-ray imaging machine. The Argus, an X-ray camera that can search objects like vehicles for bombs. And then two products in development, an airport baggage scanner and the mobile CT brain scanner. So the goals for this year, we want to continue to sell the Rover. Uh, Argus is newly in the market and so we want to obviously sell as many Arguses as we can. Uh, and then we've just got to continually progress the development of the head CT and the checkpoints project with the TSA. MicroX was founded in Victoria in 2011 and listed on the stock market in 2015. It's now based in Adelaide. Kingsley Hall is the CEO. Our factory's in Tonsley. It's the old Mitsubishi factory. Um, you know, we've got a really talented workforce. Um, we've got a, a very committed sales team, manufacturing team. Uh... In the last half year, MicroX's revenue was around $8.2 million. $4.4 million of it was sales. The company lost around $7.7 .7 million. MicroX has sold about 400 of its mobile Rover X-ray units since it entered the market five years ago. The Rover contains a single electronic X-ray tube, which weighs about five and a half kilograms. The highly portable device is used in hospitals around the world, including in the Ukraine. We have 11 systems that have been operating in the Ukraine since the beginning, of, almost the beginning of the war, and they're taking hundreds of images a day. The clinicians love them because right behind the battlefront, where there's intermittent power, where you just want to be able to move it to the side, move it around quickly. They're able to take fast images, look at the images on it, assess what's going on. The other MicroX product is the Argus, an X-ray camera that can see through materials like metal, wood and plastic to identify threats. One application is IEDs, improvised explosive devices. So if you've got a bag, a suspect bag that's in a corner, you don't have to worry about moving it, you can bring it to it and look at it. You want to see something in the side of a car door, you can bring it up to it and look at it. But the company sees one big opportunity in its mobile CT scanner, which can quickly scan patients for signs of a stroke. The scanner contains 21 electronic X-ray units, which are electronically fired in sequence to produce a moving X-ray beam around the patient's head. It weighs about 70 kilograms, as opposed to a regular CT scanner that weighs about 1,200. At the end of the day, the head CT is a massive product. 
Um, it's going to revolutionise stroke care when you think about being able to diagnose the cause of stroke inside of 30 seconds. Uh, it's going to change the way that, that, that stroke diagnosis is made and it can be done at the point of care rather than uh, through a CT at a hospital which could be hours away. The idea is to install this unit into the back of a regular ambulance or helicopter where it can be folded up and kept out of the way until it's needed. The unit's expected to cost around $250,000. Yeah, so the, um, the head CT is in partnership with the Australian Stroke Alliance, which is out of the uh, Royal Melbourne Hospital. Uh, it's an $8 million uh, funding agreement through the Medical Research Future Fund, uh, and that'll take that project right through to commercialisation. And their final product is an airport baggage scanner, which contains six X-ray units. These scanners can be connected together into a group of eight to replace a classic airport security screening process. It's a project that's already received about $18 million US in funding from the US Department of Homeland Security.